Hi everybody, I'm Laurie from Laurie's Mechanical Marvels and welcome to the Monday Club. It's Monday, it's 7 p.m. and the Bronx are yours. It's time for the Monday Club featuring your host, Jennifer Kirk, with the help of Stubbit Monkey and a wizard called Panda. Featuring the sounds of the Glasserine Symphony Orchestra and the musical stylings of Gordon the Music Maestro. Let's get ready to local! A big hello to you. It's so great to see you and I hope I find you well. It's Monday, and that means, of course, our regular weekly live stream trip to Weir Yard. I'm Jenny Kirk. This is the host with the toast, Topsy Toaster. And you can't I... jiggle as much with his uh, toaster because yeah. you've, you've filled his uh, tray with books. Yes, he's, he's, he's got a, a red hot book in there. Hmm, Topsy, what book might this be? Yes, that's right. <sighs> this is Twinkle Little Star. One of my little tones that is available through our website, along with its companion, Bringing Home the Stars, and also the comic book collections. Those of you who were at Getz, um, uh, who bought them, hopefully you've had a jolly good read. Um, but it's great to see you. I've been insanely ill, um, as has the monkey of cupboardness. Um, so if you've been wondering why, for the last week, uh, we've been a little bit quiet... It's because That's we've why. mostly been uh, trying not to uh, move too much so that we didn't run out of energy. Yeah, so big hello to Jennifer Horton, 1968 Concord, Simon Trains Monroe, which showcased Ben Tellett, Retro Rambles, uh, who says it didn't... <coughs> okay. <coughs> said so they didn't get any notifications. Yeah, this. YouTube is not sending out notifications a lot. I did get one. I got a notification half an hour ago. And two minutes ago, I got Watch Live Now. So they are sending some out. Mm. You've got to be very careful. It's weird. Ollie's Train says, I'm on time today. Excellent. We well do done. Approve. Um, Jerry BVR uh, says, Topsy is now well-bred and well-read. I like yes. that. He's the host with the most of the toast. He's also, he's now resplendent with his own hand. It's like one of those foam fingers you see at ball games. Yeah, good, Jenny. Go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. So if I sound really, really wiped out, then it's because I'm really, really wiped out. Um, yeah. I got out of bed about an hour ago. Um, we had earlier on, I had to go down into town to pay a check in the bank. And before you go, oh, you can do that on the app. <laughs> no, you can't if the check is over a certain amount. So we had to go down into town and we did drive to a supermarket that's quite close to Bolton. Uh, down in the centre, the Morrisons, in fact, if anybody mm. knows Bolton. And I walked just under a mile to get from there to my bank and back. And it's absolutely kicked my bottom. So if I sound absolutely bottom kicked, that is why. Um, we've got uh, Mark Towers, B2000R, Toys Channel, Leslie Gilpin Railways, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, Mike Lane, TT120, excuse me, um, Fly My Chairman 1. D827 Kelly, uh, yes, YouTube is a world to itself and works in mysterious ways. Don't we know that? It's very strange. You'd have thought that they would just be an open book, but no, they have to make it unnecessarily uh, unfathomable. And hide the stuff you want to see and just push the rubbish you don't at you. I hello, know, I'm hello everyone who got pushed me. It's <laughs> great to see you. I'm, st I'm starting to think that... Uh... We need to do some more pushing of perhaps shorts. I so, hate shorts. Can I just say? So, anybody, I, 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 I that good, not good. So good, here's an idea for good. you, Jen. Yeah. Here's an idea. People don't. If you're watching TV, do you think? Well, you know what? I'd make this better if I turned my TV on its side. So that I, I look like I've uh, no peripheral vision. I've got an idea for you. What? Here's a, a thing. Right. We're gonna do. Minute long <coughs> reviews, and it's going to be like this. Hi, I'm Jenny Kirk, 
Here's a train. It's good. Thanks and subscribe. But that is vacuous that, nonsense. Exactly. That's what YouTube wants. Yeah. Bluegrass Rail fan. Amen to that. So shorts are annoying. I rarely if ever watch them. Yeah. I quite often I'll be scrolling through recommendations and they're like, oh, that looks an interesting topic. Oh, but it's short format. Keep scrolling. I, I just, on principle, refuse to watch them. Um, uh, uh, I've got so, I'll be back. Oh, so sorry to hear that, Robin Sill. This oh, is my man, cat so died sorry. on the 17th of October. We do sympathise, unfortunately. Our lovely cat, Fred, of a, gr a great many loving years, passed away just as we were going into lockdown. I, um, and I still miss her. Mm. All I can say is it hurts like hell at the time. Mm -hmm. But you do get over it eventually yeah. well, you don't so much get over it as you learn to live with it it becomes part of you yeah yeah yeah. and yeah it's interesting actually everybody's saying um uh, that they're not keen on shorts no no one likes shorts except for somebody uh, at youtube yeah yes and they're trying to be down with the kids and it's like i'm sorry but if you're down with the kids you're either a kid or <laughs> or you need to be or a, a friend of jimmy savile yeah you need to be visited by <laughs> by the odd squad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Um, yeah, Ed Flame four two nine one says shorts suck all the expertise of the creator's video. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, um, right. Zantech says if videos are under a certain length, they default to shorts. I'm not sure because I've seen videos of like fourteen seconds. You have to be in vertical format to. Yeah, it's the format. Um, and yeah, Wamgok, but YouTube likes them. Yes, nobody else does. Um, so... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, they, they're basically obsessed with TikTok. So, New Junction, big hello to you. Um, I, I am really, really under the weather. Um, just wiped out. Um, dehydration seems to be a big thing. And um, as far as we can tell, it's just because I'm, I'm running at a slightly warm temperature. So we still have not turned on the central heating here at uh, at uh, Weir Yard Towers, which is a good thing. I even fired up the old log burner. Um, so um, that's, that's one thing, I suppose. Um, but uh, what else is in the news? Well, Hellion have shared a picture, along with quite a few other people, of the launch of the battery-operated Class OH shunter, the OH-E. Now, what's interesting about this is that they were actually invited to be at the event. Now, mm, 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 being suspicious, now I don't know this is certain, and Ben Jones is probably going, <laughs> twiddle of a moustache, um, but um, the fact that Hellion, or at least Ben Jones from Hellion, was at the official unveiling does make you wonder. Now, they're doing the Class 11 and the Class 12, Twiddle of moustache. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, is there a, not just the class 08 um, in the wings, but maybe they've tooled up to be able to do the 08E? Now, a lot of people have been asking, why is it a class 08 when effectively there's more differences between an 08 and an 08E than there are between an 08 and an 09? Surely it should be a tox class to itself. Um, and the short answer is not really quite sure. A longer answer is probably because um, for type uh, approval purposes, um, it's mostly an 08, even though it does look quite different. It's merely the power source that has changed from a big uh, diesel engine to a big set of batteries. Um, and if you don't need to get type approval, it's a lot easier in this day and age. And yes, D827 Kelly says there is a hydrogen 08 as well. And is that still using the English electric block in there? So is the hydrogen 08 just got a different fuel system um, so that and fu um, fuel tank um, so that it can run on hydrogen? Or is there there's something a bit more to it? Um, but it is an interesting beast, says Richard Moles. Um, yeah, I think I think it definitely is. Um, uh, you know, they, they 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 bill it as being a zero emissions. <laughs> now, no, 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 no. Um, the emissions have already been had in creating whatever the fuel um, pods are made of. So I can imagine there's a lot of of, um, uh, of pollution in making the uh, rare earth metals um, that are in there. Um, 
And also, it all, it, it's like lots of if, buts and maybes on how that power is generated. But from going forth, you're talking about, you know, if you say like wind power generation, um, then, um, yeah, 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 it's definitely cleaner. Yeah, if you'd stand next to it and you're not going to get enveloped in blue diesel smoke. Um, big hello to um, um, uh, Iron Horse Railways, apparently in Aylesmead Project, uh, Bluegrass Rail from Mark Tower, Skipsy Trains. Hello to you, great to see you. Um, uh, Ed Flame, 4291. Uh, fly my chairman one as well, so I'll be listening to the show in the background, cracking on with weathering this evening. If I'm required, get Jen to say my name three times. Uh, oh, so that's fly my, uh, Iron Horse Railways. Uh, fly my chairman one. It, it must. It went and did the Matador thing. Don't you hate it when websites do that? You're like, I I'm going to go and click this button. It's there. It's there. And then click, and the website goes, ha ha, ole! Oh, you just clicked on the advert. And I'm like, what? No, I didn't. Um, right, um, but yes, now, um, if my money was on another manufacturer, and I was asked this, actually, at the show at Burnley, and it was great to see you guys, actually, um, as, um, several Monday Clubbers did come and say hello, had a great chat, um, even got to sign a Monday Club wagon, um, always great to, uh, to see you guys at the show at Burnley, uh, unfortunately, Les wasn't able to make it out of the, uh, uh, the modelling dungeon. Um, his wife was uh, very, very ill, so we obviously completely understand he had to uh, stay and uh, look after her. And, uh, you know, family always does come first. Um, but it was lovely to see you guys there. I wasn't able to take the Four Seasons layout because I didn't have a plus one to be able to shift that around. But maybe next year. Um, but, um, but I've lost my train of thought. New Junction says, um, Jenny, say Iron Horse three times to test the system. Okay. Let us test the Iron Horse Railway's summoning system. In emergency, chant this three times. Iron Horse Railways! Iron Horse Railways! Iron Horse Railways! It doesn't slip off the tongue like New Junction, New Junction, New Junction. Hashtag for tax and legal purposes. This is not some kind of bat signal. Um, but uh, yes, uh, Peter Jackson Cheadle, he says, that was mine. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, you're welcome. Um, it was great to see you. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for coming. Always great to see a Billy's replacement T-shirt. Now, um, I'm going to see if I can uh, pick up one of the other cameras. Oh, oh there we are. All right, at some point, right, we're looking at the upper level. There will be... <coughs> <coughs> there will be a Class 16 will chug its way across with a, a rake of 16-ton uh, coal wagons, but then there's a couple of private owner wagons. Now, um, one of you wonderful guys uh, dropped off a wrapped-up uh, little present, which we opened on last week's Monday Club, um, but um, she didn't catch the name of the person who uh, gave this. So you're just seeing it hoving across your laser display screens. Um, and the final two there, there's a couple of private owner ones there. There's the Moor and the Midri. Um, uh, please, 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 can the person who uh, who dropped them off at the stand uh, let us know, because I do want to thank you for those. Thank you so, so much. Uh, they do feature in my pickups video. Which, as you can imagine, um, the Gets Pickup video is uh, running a bit late because I have not been able to film a single thing since I started making that video uh, last Monday and then um, lost a week. Uh, DJK666 says, My Acura Scale 21 tour has arrived and it is a delight. Um, absolutely, yes, mine has as well. Um, I purchased one too. This is the ZDV, so Engineers um, uh, MDV. So, oh man, I, I just, yeah, when you're like, just, nah. So I've got a can of Whoopass, and um, just for the vitamins and minerals, and for the, uh, um, the uh, caffeine as well. So the beverage of choice is an energy drink. Right. Um, oh, hello. Les is in. Big hello to you. Great to see you. Lucas Morelli, hello. 
Dion Wollaston says, lovely to see you too um, as well, Jenny. Absolutely, and it was great having uh, a chat with you as well, and to meet your son too. Um, right. Um, yeah, um, Mr. Pets, uh, let's go for Rose. Asks, oh, have you been absent, Mr. Pets? Yes, Mr. Pets has been very busy. He's been uh, burning the midnight oil. And impeccably dressed while doing so, I, I, no doubt. But um, yes, he, I think he's been very busy with work and such like. So we have missed uh, James Pets, but we do approve of um, of, of James Pets. And um, somebody said about uh, James Hardy says, "What's the A4 that's running now?" Mm, I bought that at the Burnley show. This was the LMY DCC. Um, event that was held over the weekend and it is is that going to actually come up no it isn't oh dear monkey of madness is not here and has left uh, the um, the mouse miles away so I have to reach over and force the camera to come on so oh, we pretty much missed it it'll come around again now this is Sir Ronald Matthews six triple zero one, and this was a purchase. In fact, I've still got the box here. It's it's not been properly uh, videoed yet. So the box, there we go. This is one of the Hornby Super Detail models, and this is something to look out for at shows. Um, the digital sound logo. You notice it says digital sound, not um, TTS sound. Um, for a very short period, Hornby actually used 21-pin lock sound decoders from ESU for their sounds. So that is actually a 21-pin Hornby A4. Um, and uh, they tooled up an alternative 21-pin chassis for all of their range that they fitted sound to. So it's one of the reasons why when they've now finally decided to um, uh, go 21-pin, on all of the stuff um, that is quite easy because they had the tooling to do it and it does beg the question why they didn't do this sooner uh, but it's a sound fitted one it's quite hard to find that particular one um, but there were a number of hard to find locomotives actually at the event on the club stand and I must give a good shout out to the club stand I paid £130 for that ESU lock sound I think it's something like a V3 or a V3.5, um, but um, uh, £130, mint in box, Hornby Super Detail A4 with sound, um, and i um, really quite pleased with it, because it's I knew of its existence, um, but it's a really, really hard to uh, find one. Now, they had another even harder to find one, but I wasn't able to buy it, because I already had that identity of A4. They had the Experimental Purple Merlin, which was produced as a special edition for Model Fair. Um, and I think that was £150, not sound fitted as far as I'm aware. Um, but I, I, I already have the main range version, which is in BR Green. Um, but um, it wasn't sold at the end of the show. So if you contact the LNY DCC Club, um, if you're absolutely desperate to buy that, but that lovely experimental purple loco, but instead of it being Walter K. Wiggum, it's Merlin, um, then I think they probably still have it, and it's really, really hard to find. I've only ever seen it listed once before at a substantially increased amount, um, but I couldn't justify buying the same loco twice, so I didn't. Um, but yes, that, so that's the A4 that's currently chugging around. Um, the Alesmead project says Hornby used mostly V3.5 to start, but then V4, oh, so it could be a V4. Stefan um, Svensson says, uh, Yes, sorry if I'm late. Oh! A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Gandalf. Right, brilliant. Um, Great, smashing super. Oh, sorry. Nigel Cole says, good evening, everyone. That implies it. Oh, and John JMC, our guru of sound. Sorry I missed your live stream. I, I was after the show on Sunday. I came back and just went straight to bed. Yep. Um, and I slept right through until... Um, Yesterday? No, no, no. I slept right through until this morning. 
And then we got up in, like, sort of good time. We got up about 10 o'clock. We went into town um, and it wiped me out. So I came home and I went back to bed. And then I got up an hour before this and I'm planning on going back to bed again. Um, essentially, um, really just wiped out the illness that um, I had, that we had, just saps you of energy. I've heard a lot of people saying this, that the um, the post gets lurgy um, does seem to um, just leave you devoid of strength. The choo-choo flu, it's not good. Yeah, we're going to call it the choo-choo flu. Um, <laughs> so whenever you go to a show and loads of people get ill after a show, they've got the choo-choo flu. Um... James Hardy says, there's the Care Stewart Victory. Yes, um, the Care Stewart Victory, lovely locomotive, great deal of weight to it. And um, it's a, a locomotive that's fitted with a HM7000 decoder in Next 18. Um, it was one of the locos that was quite an easy fit. Oh, oh Tim goodness. Krinsky, thank you so much. Very kindly gifted 50 Jennifer E. Kirk memberships. So oh you'll goodness. see these start to appear up. If you get gifted one, do make use of it. Um, you get some natty icons to make use of. Your name in green. Thank you so and much. And also thank you. early ad free access to the Friday video. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, John JMC, our guru of sound, says, I've had the choo choo flu too. Oh dear. Um, it, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, um, uh, grim, the choo choo flu. Um, Ronald Davies says hello. Yeah, that's a degree of lateness. There is a degree of lateness going on. Uh, Raymond Legg says, I can't wait for the 100 pin decoder, real working dynamic brakes, actuating wagon brakes, dripping oil slick, and dead man's throttle. <laughs> oh. So, to everyone who's come in late, I um, believe Gandalf has a message. You're all late. But that's okay. <laughs> but that is alright, because. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Thanks, Gandalf. Right, How long has that water been up here? Uh, <coughs> <coughs> a couple of weeks. And you're going to drink it? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> you put me off. Would you like me to go and get you a can of Hokey Cokey? Yes, that's what it's all about. Oh, Hokey Cokey. So, oh my word. So, thank you so much, Tim Krinsky. That is incredibly generous of you. Uh, ben Tullet says, I got I got the Choo Choo Flu after the Farnham event. I felt a bit of a sore throat coming on, so I went straight for the Lem Sip and Throat Sweeties. Yes, that's how it starts. For us, it started, well, certainly for me. <laughs> On the Sunday of Getz, you know, when you just don't feel quite right. Yes. And I had a bit of a sore throat, and I put that down to doing a lot of talking in a loud room that was air-conditioned. And actually, yeah, air-conditioning does not help our cause. No. It's like, open a bloody window. Um, Although, it, I would have loved air-conditioning in the summer heat that we've had. Yeah, yeah. But, um, no, um, so I thought it was that, but then Monday, not really well. You saw me last week's Monday Club. I was in pretty grim condition. Um, and then the upsum of that was that Tuesday morning, got up, had a shower, didn't feel so great, went back to bed, woke up on Friday wearing exactly the same clothes and thinking, what, what, what just happened? And having the weirdest of hallucinations as well. Um, Dion Wollaston says, my son says thank you for the Coke Light, although his typed cake light bit. No, you're absolutely welcome. Uh, you needed a drink, and uh, they weren't, they, it wasn't a case of us undercutting the local, uh, uh, the, the cafe or the, the, um, the facilities. They were only serving tea. Don't like tea. I'm guessing you guys are the same. So, yeah, no, I had a, a multi-pack box, so don't worry about it. But, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You're absolutely welcome. Bluegrass Rail Fan says, I went to a packed train show in Cincinnati last week. Thankfully, I didn't get ill. That show had a line waiting to get in. The first in my experience. <coughs> you, you clearly um, have not seen Getz. Um, they were queuing around the block. Uh, apparently, there was a two-hour queue in the car park, which was some way away, just to get on the bus to take you to the main event to join the queue. And they actually had to shut the doors because the venue uh, became too full. Um, Colin Oldham says, Hi gang, I've bitten the bullet and booked flights and tickets to Wally. This will be my first ever show. Unbelievably excited. Any top tips? Now, I suggest what you need is, first of all, right, once you get inside Wally, imagine everything that's not in the train arena. So things like if you want food, if you want drink, 
Imagine it as a hoover that is being placed into your wallet and just like sucking all the money out. So make sure that you have a bag. Don't don't take a rucksack. People, you know, people with rucksacks at train shows. No, all you're doing is hitting short people in the face. Um, but uh, a satchel. Uh, take yeah, a satchel. A satchel, or even like like one of those heavy duty um, Hessian tote bags. But take a load of things like. Um, cans of drink, uh, water bottles, that kind of thing. Um, plenty of hydration because, quite frankly, you will need it. Um, it does get quite warm in there and I've seen a lot of people suffering with dehydration and it's not pleasant getting dehydration. It really isn't. If you are a member of the Backman Collectors Club, bring your proof of that because Backman have a stand and one of the things that they do in there is that they've got complimentary bottles of water. And it is worth its weight in gold. It is worth joining the Backman's Collectors Club if you're at Worley or Ali Pally purely to get proper hydration. They've also got a lovely little space inside where you can just chill out away from the throbbing crowds. And also consider taking like flapjacks or power bars or something. Yeah, to keep you going. Yeah, something that'll just give you that energy boost. Now, the other thing as well that I would say is comfy shoes. I mean... Like, this ain't no fashion parade. You need to be wearing shoes that you can walk for mile after mile after mile and be on your feet for hours on end without feeling crippled. So, you know, forget about being trendy or um, being with the dress sense. Yeah. You need comfy shoes. Um, uh, awesome Bricks asks, can you plug in a toaster? Um, apparently you can. Now, Topsy has um, he's gone very eco because um, he's decided to go free range on his energy and he just sucks it in through the pins it's like but um, apparently you can plug him into a wall socket and uh, he can he can suckle from the corporate teat but uh, he prefers it uh, a free range um, yeah Nick at Bletchley High Levels says definitely no flip flops yeah that that is typed like it comes through a man who is experienced. So no flip flops, not again. <laughs> My recommendation for any train show, convention or anything, regardless of what you're wearing, if you're wearing a suit, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Put hmm. some good trainers on. Sneakers uh, yeah. for Americans. They're, because they're designed for heavy duty running yeah. and keeping your feet feeling good. Yeah, because your feet need to breathe and they need to be supported. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised. And this is something like, I know that um, James Petz is always the well-dressed chap. But um, my guess is that he would have some great advice. If, if you want to be impeccably dressed, but have comfortable feet, James Petz is the chap to ask about what the, the well-dressed chap is wearing on their feet to avoid getting feet fatigue. Um, I think James is in the chat. So... Um, uh, if you are there, James, do let us know. <laughs> Definitely no Crocs, says Davis, no matter how comfy they are. <laughs> to be fair, I, I'm going to go against that. Ah, I Jam know. James Petz, we do approve, says, I manage in leather shoes. But leather is great. Leather does breathe. Yes. Um, and that's the thing that people often forget, is that sometimes the old things are the best. Um, synthetic materials can be terribly bad for your feet. Because they just don't breathe. Yeah. Although he does say that my shoes are bespoke, much more comfortable. I bet they are. Absolutely, yes. And I remember this is like, my, my dad's probably watching. And if my dad is watching, then my mother isn't far away. And um, <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Um, so I'm going to say it. My dad, for many years, insisted that the only way to buy shoes was to buy them one size too small and then break them in. And he used to wear his shoes around the house to break them in and my mum for a great many years would be like les les just get the correct size and oh, and, and he would he would like like walk around the house looking like he was uh, walking on eggshells like oh 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 just breaking them in and uh, like even now i can hear my mum go going oh les les oh she's got you to a tea <laughs> <coughs> so your dad is judge dread Mm, what? And as Judge Dredd got older, in order to keep his mind <coughs> off the fact <coughs> that he was essentially just uh, 
a fascist policeman in a dystopian state. <laughs> he started wearing small shoes. <laughs> and it's true. Is that why he's always in a bad mood? Yes. In bad his mood. shoes are too small. Colin Oldham says, I'll come and say hi. Also, I have a Backman membership, so I will head there for recovery. Absolutely. And I say this every year, but it's absolutely true. Um, Backman, and you can buy it on the day. If, you, you, if you're not a Collectors Club member and you feel that, um, like, oh, actually, that, that free water and the respite does hang out. They've got Bickies as well. They have, like, little packs of, um, you know, where you have, like, a custard cream in a pack. They're things like that. So, um, Backman are actually really quite switched on for these events. I think they do Gaiden as well. Never been to Gaiden. Um, I think it's this coming weekend. But um, certainly Alexandra Palace and definitely Worley. Um, it's worth the money. And, you know, you get your um, your little wagon and the magazine, uh, the calendar uh, and the catalogue. But quite frankly... Um, the free water, it's worth its weight in gold. And, you know, when you're in there, you have a chat with them. You can see all the displays they've got inside. Um, I think it's Ali Pally. I always actually, um, um, I, I rejoin the Collectors Club at Ali Pally. Wham Gok asks, any news today, Jenny? Um, unfortunately, You've I've been... You've been a bit out of the loop, haven't I you? Have. I have. I've so, got no energy. Shall today. we do the news with uh, the cupboard monkey? Uh, the, mon the, the monkey of madness. No, Which one? this isn't... Where's the mouse? Oh, I don't want your phone. I want the mouse. I, want, I need control. Oh, well, you should have and said, instead of pointing at my control, phone and beckoning, then you might have said, where's the mouse? Control, control. I need to have control. Yeah, it's a so shame. What you're doing is uh, you're going to just oh, wait, keep everything, oh, whoa, 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 everything whoa, 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 whoa. going while I bring up the... Uh, Whilst you bring in your Norman Price voice. No, my, yes, Norman Price. What are you doing with those fires? Uh, Norman Price. Why, why, why are you trying to create a nuclear bomb? We'll call Fireman Sam on your ass. <laughs> if Fireman Sam was getting called in for the most ridiculous rubbish. Yeah, it's like nobody could do anything without running it by Fireman Sam. It must have really irritated Fireman Sam. And anybody who's never seen Fireman Sam, like basically all our overseas viewers. Um, the They're original, all going, what on earth are you talking about? It's like they were basically... Pompty Bandy was a village full of idiots. And they would get into all manner of scrapes, and then for some reason, regardless of what the scrape was, they'd call the fire service. More specifically, they'd call the like Fireman Sam, who was like their kind of go-to guy. And he had this bunch of hangers-on, who were also the fire department. Yep. But he'd turn up for anything, and it was just like, they were just a feckless bunch of idiots. Okay, so, let's do this. I'm going to bring up the big browser. Yeah. Beep, 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 and one beep. time, one time, they even set fire to the fire station. That tells you how inept the fire service of Ponty Pandy was. Okay, so I'm just moving the chat so you can still see it while we have a look. I don't get to see much. Is that actually scrolling? Cause it's, oh, there we, there yes, we go. Yes, it is. So that's going to yeah. scroll while I have a look through what's on uh, Jenny Kirk official Facebook page for the news. Because Jen has been out of it. Yeah, so, I've talked about that. Okay, the so Hellion you, thing. That. Oh, right, yes. So... Also, Lionheart Trains, part of Daypole, um, the um, the O sixteen point five, which um, for anybody overseas, like what the heck is that? Um, this is basically O gauge models of narrow gauge prototypes. So they run on um, double O track with sixteen point five millimeters, same as HO. So I'm sure it's something like O N thirty or something like that, but in the UK, it's never been offered ready to run. You can, I think the most you can get is a range of track products through Pico until now. And building on the success of O-Gage, um, the um, uh, Lionheart Heart has brought out this. And we saw them at work. They're in the foyer mm. at Daypole. And really, really lovely. Now, there's a lot of people talking about... Um, uh, Fireman Sam. So Sarah Davis says, well, Fireman Sam is a bit like Midsummer. Yes, there's a lot of murders, but that keeps the house prices down. Uh, Lifestyle Unleashed is... Oh, it's gone off the... It, I don't get long here. <coughs> Seriously important news. Apparently, Ivor the Engine is being released as a DVD set mastered. Oh, brilliant. Um, so I said, Rob, are you okay? Is it... Rob, is, is it... Is some, somebody not well? Uh, oh, uh, was it Wardle Road? 
I do have a new vid out, but got a copyright strike, so I'm not getting pushed as much. I get I get uh, copyright claimed almost every week on my uh, various videos for um, Final Fantasy VII. Oh. I'm, I'm doing my full playthrough of it. And I'll tell you what, hmm? it has thirded how many people watch my show compared to normal. Interesting. So you're going to stop doing that? No, I'm enjoying the game. We're going to go through it, but it's like I won't be doing uh, anything with the sound on again. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's a good, good idea. Peter Jackson, Tudor Heath. If you have a backpack, take it off and leave it at the, uh, there's a point at mm. um, Wally where you can leave it and go back to it. So like a, like a cloakroom. Um, that, that's probably a good idea. Now, Cavalex says, please to share their first N-Gage wagons. The PGA has arrived in stock with Rails of Sheffield and available to order. Now, that's a lovely layout. Yeah, and just because Rails of Sheffield's in blue doesn't mean you had to then uh, increase the volume as you were talking about it. Yeah. Uh, the PGA has arrived in stock with rails of Sheffield. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Right. Um, DCC Concepts reminding that they are stockists, official UK stockists for Tillig Elite Track. Mm. Um, it's a really interesting range, and um, I know that there are there are there are um, others that that um, you can buy it through in the UK, um, but are usually kings of back order now. Um, DCC concepts are different. Um, their approach is they put in a massive order, and actually, whilst I worked there, they put in the first order, and apparently, it was the big, biggest single order for track that Tillig has ever fulfilled. Um, it was that much track, and what DCC concepts aimed to do was to put <laughs> everything into stock so you could buy it there and then. And they actually managed to. Um, get Tillig to be out of stock at the main factory on a number of product lines. And as you can see in that picture, there's some really interesting single and double slips, crossings. Um, so there's a lot more choice in the mm. type of track work that, that you is can get yourself one. hold of. Because it's a curve um, and a diamond. Axon92 uh, says, have a good week, everyone. Got to pick my son up from school. Well, you take care. Take care. Have a great day. <coughs> <coughs> then we had the EFE Rail Hidden Gems. Yeah, and um, uh, Graham Muspratt from uh, Kerno Model Centre as well. Uh, it actually did, uh, there's a couple of comments, A left, just clarifying a couple of points in terms of what they can make with the tooling. But um, really exciting range, and I guess it seems to have, have gone a little bit under the radar, so we've given those wagons a bit of love. Mm. Um, yes, Flymo Channel 1, twin gauge track, they do dual um, OO stroke HO with OO9 stroke HOE, but also with um, uh, HOM uh, type uh, track as well. So if you want to do <laughs> dual gauge, that's your thing. Cavalex models, PGA, Hopper, that we already mentioned we did, those. But I've left this on screen while you were talking because I wanted to talk about this. Is it just me? Mm. Or when you see that shade of green, do you just think nineteen sixties industrial? Yeah, well, yeah. Um, it was everywhere, from what I can tell. I think it what goes back further than that. Um, Wouldn't surprise me. But it's it's um like a leaf green. I just look at that and think, oh, when I was a kid in the eighties, uh, school dinners used to frequently include mint custard. I remember mint custard. It was amazing. Yeah. And we did actually fi um, find the strawberry custard. You can still get tins of that. It's quite nice. That mint uh, custard with a, a big slice of chocolate cake. Yes. 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 That was nice. Oh, mm. <laughs> but this colour is what the TARDIS was. The TARDIS console. Yeah. For the 1960s. Yeah. Lifestyle and Lisa have to dash still recovering from the busy weekend at Warrington. Absolutely. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, right. Now, this, this is important news, and I should have remembered this, because, because you've got it running the eagle-eyed <laughs> will have noticed a full set of these um, going around behind the Class 33 Slim Jim, but the um, uh, the Newton <laughs> Chambers car transporter packs <laughs> are, um, are out there, and I've actually got the box down here. They come in a lovely presentation box, and this... It's really substantial, really lovely presentation. Eastern Region Car Transporter, and um, I really do like them. They feature a number of really nice, innovative uh, things. 
um, such as they come with replaceable couplings that give you out-of-the-box magnetic couplings. This has really become quite a thing now. Haven't tested them yet, but they do look quite good. Looking forward to doing that in the review. I was contemplating recording the review today, but I'm just, I have just no energy. So again, we're just going to look at tomorrow. Um, so it, I was hoping to get this review out for the Wednesday video, but it may end up being Fridays and we rotate what we've got for Friday into the Wednesday slot because the Friday video is already recorded because that's, so that makes my life a lot easier because basically I don't have to do anything. Um, <laughs> um, so don't forget to tickle that like button, share the stream and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Oh. And uh, these, that's O-Gage actually, but they, these are um, additional detail parts from West Hill Wagon Works. They look lovely. <coughs> oh, are those uh, lamps? You yeah. know, are those gems for the lamps? Or are I they, think uh... they are, so that you know they kind of catch the that's... light. Oh, they've got the detail on the back and. Well, yes, because these they they shone white forward and red backwards. So yeah, that lovely. The, um, if the um, the loco crew looked back along the train, and um, the idea was that you could see the white light at the end of the train, and you knew the brake van was still there. <laughs> Ergo, the back of the train was still there. Um, so, um, anyway, yeah, so we've had a, a brief look through the news. Let's go back to the, um, so I can see the chat. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I've pressed the button. Okay, I've got to press these and uh, switch everything over. Happy. So, just give me a moment for Fireman Sam. Oh, will you, uh, like, no, the ponty pandy nonsense of Fireman <laughs> Sam. There's probably actually in the US or somewhere, there's probably a, a similar kids program where you think, what a bunch of cuttings. Uh, uh, so I've been asked, uh, I think it was Warbler asked, uh, do I know when the 60th anniversary Doctor Who stuff's on? No. <laughs> <D-A-T-> <laughs> I don't have a TV yeah. license. I don't okay. get to see it. Yeah, shut up, sorry. Oh, it's, oh no. Oh, D87 no. Kelly says, never had the delight of school dinners as I live close enough to school to walk home for lunch, which I made myself. Um, and you missed out actually. I I enjoyed a lot of school dinners. I, they get a bad rap. I guess it depends on which school you went to. It, but, it was um, mostly good. But my friends all took a packed lunch. Therefore, I took a packed lunch because otherwise I couldn't see my friends. Oh yeah, you just you had to like peer pressure. Yeah, had to hang with the hip kids. Um, <laughs> I yeah. think. All of the friends I had at school, who I don't talk to anymore, would be very, very happy to have been called hip. <laughs> and Leslie Gilpin Rose asks, is the do not move sign right for when tail lamp coats were used? Now, I think they've just put everything on there. Um, yeah. Not to be moved would be on a wagon that was kind of carded for um, some, some reason. Or you know, it may even be if there was somebody underneath doing some work like replacing brake, brake blocks. You put one of those on. Tell people like don't mess with this. It's like it's got a um, there's a reason. But um, you yeah, know when I was at um, at infant school, I remember the dinners being pretty grim. In fact, when I was in Wales, when I lived in Ustragunlice, school our dinners were lovely. No, when I was in Wales in Ustragunlice um, at the uh, infant school there, it, it's gone. Actually, I looked on Google Earth and it's like, huh, there's like a trendy housing estate now. Uh, but um, I can remember the dinners there being so grim that I couldn't eat them half the time and I wasn't alone. They were that bad. So I know where a lot of these stories come from. But from kind of junior school, I was, in fact, actually the next infant school I went to when we moved wasn't too bad. Um, uh, junior school, the dinners were really nice. And um, at secondary school, I really liked them. Um, right, uh, just having a look down, down, uh, DA27 Kelly says, this was a South London secondary school, surprised they let you just wander home, um, a lot of schools I went to, they didn't like letting kids out, they didn't like it, but, because they never came back, yeah, you could, uh, Awesome Brick says, some of the Fleischmann O-Gage narrow gauge stuff is coming back as a Roco Christmas set, Gage Master will be stocking them. Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath is out there in memory lane with rice pudding and strawberry jam. Gosh, yes. I haven't had strawberry jam in rice pudding since I was at school. And now you think it and you say it, it's like, yeah, something about like really hot rice pudding with strawberry jam slowly sinking into it. 
Flymo Chairman once says, I left school that, dinners. Yeah. I was a dinnerman. Took out the meals to the outlying schools and the meals on wheels too. Oh, nice. The chocolate paving slab with pink custard. Yeah. Yes, I sometimes got the pink custard, but sometimes we got the green custard. Mm. Sometimes the regular <laughs> custard. And like, who do you remember fighting over the skin on the custard? No. No, I don't. <laughs> do you remember other people? More normal people ever. No. None of us wanted it. <laughs> Nigel Cole says, I have the experimental purple Merlin A4. It's lovely. Yeah, we were talking earlier on. The, uh, if anybody's after one of those, the Ellen Y DCC show, the club stand, had one for sale. And at the end of the show, it hadn't sold. Um, if it wasn't for the fact I already have Merlin, which is the, the locomotive, um, I'd have bought it. It was an exclusive special edition for Model Fair um, Limited by Hornby. It's a super detailed model and it's a super livery. Um, but if you get in contact with the LNY DCC Club, um, then I think it was about £150, which is a good price for it in as new condition in box. Um, but if you're after one of those, you could do no worse. Um, James says, what about cake with jam and coconut? Sounds lovely. Mm. Oh, something just... Zoe, would you get your hair out of my trees? And now that is a phrase you don't often hear. Yeah. Except here, where, where Zoe just puts her hair in my trees. I didn't uh, mean to. Oh, oh, hello, 57305 Northern Princess. Degree of lateness implied. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Andrew Beaudley Junction says, I know Jenny's not well, but the toaster is in better focus than she is. <laughs> That's because Topsy is the host with the most. No, the host with the toast. The host with the most toast. Yeah, the most toast. Absolutely. Um... <laughs> Jenny. Jennifer Horton says, I preferred another Welsh kids programme. Super Ted! Super Voiced Ted was by great. Derek, uh, Derek Griffiths, Victor Spinetti, Roy Kinnear, Melwyn Hayes, and John Pertwee. Yeah. Wardle Super Road Ted says, What's running tonight? Well, we have got. Um, A so ridiculously long train. We've got Sir Ronald Matthew. Let's, let's try and pick them up round here. Oh, nothing's happened when I... Now, give it a moment. That was slow. Everything's yes, going chuggity-chug. Right, so, about to go across your screens first, I think, is Sir Ronald Matthews, my pickup from the Ellen Y DCC show at Burnley over the weekend. One of the A4s in super detail that I don't already have. I don't tend to like to tell people which ones that I'm looking for, because I don't want to encourage people to keep buying me stuff yeah, and we, sending it. And we, there don't, a, we don't want it to come across as grasping because that's, but, exact, um, but that's thank you, the, the people who did that. Do. Look, don't worry, we, we we are incredibly grateful. But I feel bad when yeah. when um, um, I get sent free stuff. Um, but thank you so much. But um, yeah, so I will now admit that I was looking for Sir Ronald Matthews, um, which I've now found, and that's going round. You know, you've also seen a Backman. It is a Bankman Weathered Class 37 on that incredibly long freight train. So um, let's just enjoy that going by. Um, it's quite an eclectic mix of wagons. I like, I don't, block trains are a bit boring. So I quite like these mixed trains. There's quite a lot of brake bands in this, it must be said. And a couple of cranes. Uh, you're also seeing a Class 16 and a Class 33 Slim Jim, both by Hellion. One is on a short mineral train on the top. The other is pulling the all maroon Mark 1s. Uh, there's also some Gresleys in there. But then bringing up the rear on that is the all new Hellion Newton Chambers car transport. You see them there. They're getting prepped for a review. Um, Wardle Road says, did you see the class 13 Chadwick got sent? Very nice. I saw the uh, thumbnail, actually. I do, do love a class 13. Um, I don't know if he's, uh, I gave him a Monday club wagon, one of the PAL bricks. I <laughs> bet it hasn't, hasn't seen the light of day. It's like, I've got a class 13, I don't need your garbage. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, class 13, um... So is it's they're not available ready to run i mean you can you can bend over and uh, allow um 
allow a certain retailer to empty your wallet if you want one um, through them. I, I'm not being derogatory, it's just it's very expensive because they have to be effectively handmade. Um, or you can have a go at making one yourself. But yeah, they are a bit tricky. Um, but yeah, um, Mike Lane TT120 says, I think we need to, to tickle that like button. Wonder what happens if we all do that simultaneously. Jenny goes, hee 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 hee. No, to- and then perhaps... Topsy twiddles his, his browning knob at you. And then and- perhaps Jenny will do me a favour. Oh, Topsy is trying to tell us that my books are available... Look at that, and he wiggles his him, he wiggles his finger as well whilst we do it. So there we are. So go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. Ah, uh, would you do me a favour, Jen? Um, might do. Would you give me my flying Scotsman back, please? I oh. want to cuddle it. Oh yeah, this was. Um, you may have seen this. It gets. <laughs> no, I'm not doing the accent. I've got too much of a too much of a, a throaty throat. Hello, I'm Scotty. Hello, hello, I'm Scotty. Hello. Charlie Chimp says, hey Jen, Hello. what's your least favourite loco to run? Is there one in particular that gives you trouble? <gasps> How long have you got? <laughs> least favourite locomotive Every to... Every single week you have a uh, problem. Uh, least favourite locomotive to run. Um, I'm, I'm looking and there's like this one, I think, yeah. And then I go, oh no, 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 yeah. Um... Least favourite to run and least favourite are two different categories. There's some which look amazing uh, and I would never give them, uh, give up on them, but running them, no. I think the Helium Class 14 um, goes into a, a category of rubbish to run. Um, or certainly the original. I've got a load haul one, which was a special done uh, for Hattons. And uh, that one is an absolute nuisance. Um, I've got a later version uh, with the 21-pin chassis in two-tone green, and that runs a lot better. But um, unfortunately, the Hellion Class 14s do have a few fundamental little gripes with them. So I tend to never, ever run them. Um, Sorry to say, but yeah, I just never run them. Um, In terms of other things, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. You put me on the spot. Um, Richard Knowles asks, is there also a felt Intercity 125? I think there might be, actually. Um, and oh, if anybody's oh, wondering... Um, oh, Flamin Chairman wants is <laughs> Nostar Kumpenkur, uh, Model Railway. And hello there, Ben. Um, so, yeah, Kum, Kumpenkur, uh, Model Railway. Um, nice to see you. Um, Tim Krinsky says, pull the, end, the PCB out and hardwire the decoder. Works great after... It's not the decoder that's the issue. Um, it's just the running qualities. Um, the original one has already burnt out its motor once. Uh, Dongit's Model Railway says, least favourite to run. I think my Hornby 466 needs to be in this category. Factory open frame motor with single axle drive. Yeah, um, Taroko OO Railway says, greetings, Ben. Um, uh, also, Dan as well. Um the, the bin tier of engine. Yeah. Um, class 14, I don't run because it's awkward. Hunts of austerities. They're just old locomotives. They do run, but they can be a nuisance. They tend not to get run. Um, my Hornby King is unreliable. Um, it just I think it's the decoder. Yes, I could change the decoder. Um, but it keeps forgetting its settings, which I find tedious to deal with. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Um, but yeah, as to others, and um, I don't know, um, put me on the spot, really. Um, well, that was the idea, wasn't it? I don't know. I mean, um, <coughs> <coughs> my J39, I never run that. It's a split chassis model. It has been hardwired DCC fit, but it's just not a great performer. Um... Oswestry awesome Road TMD, big hello to you, Mike at Putnam Junction. Um, uh, Iron Horse Railways has finally turned up. We chanted for you ages ago. Yeah. James Peters says, Tim Krinsky, thank you for the membership. Absolutely, yes. And Tim Krinsky, absolute legend, has again donated uh, 50 Monday Club memberships. And thank you so much for that. And now and- that I'm back on my feet and can uh, actually get the post hmm. office, we'll be sending him 
something nice as well. Yeah. Um, okay. So do look out for that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Tim. Tim, it's been incredibly Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer. An incredibly okay. Jennifer. Yeah. An like, incredibly what? Jennifer's. <laughs> yes. It's like there's news to him. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, we have to take you away and turn you into Jennifer. No, but I was nice. Uh, yeah, Dan oh, says I had a similar issue with split chassis GWR mobile. <laughs> yes, and actually on the subject of split chassis locomotives, I, I did hardwire a Backman 04 diesel shunter, and it's been nothing but a nuisance. Um, and I've got a split chassis uh, Backman A4, which I did hardwire. It does work. Um, I spent a long time hardwiring that. And then within minutes of it going on the track and running, it shredded its valve gear on one side. Oh, so goodness. that one is an absolute waste of space. Hermitage Road says my class 14 runs perfectly, Jenny. I think I've been tainted by the poor performance of my original one. Um, in fairness to Hellion, the one that they sent for review, the 21 pin one, that does all right, although the steps do fall off. And I think that's probably why I tend not to. Iron Horse Railway says, I replied to the ch to the ch to the chant earlier. You just got matadored by the chat. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. Now go away. Okay. Uh, the Growler Blackwood N-Gage layout asks, how's the N-Gage project coming along, Zoe? Okay, we've got everything that I need in order to build it. Mm. We just haven't been able to get <laughs> out of bed health. for a week. <laughs> health has been the missing ingredient. Yes. So I'm hoping that we'll have the uh, mm. little box layout done in the next month or so. That is my hope. Um, Turaco OO Railway asks, Jen, which is the best 9F model to go for? Um, in terms of, right, well, your choice between <laughs> Hornby and Backman. Um, the Backman model is, is consistently good. I will say that much for it. It is. Um, it was for a good long time the only serious choice, certainly if you wanted to do DCC fit. But Hornby came back with an all new retooled 9F. And so this now begs the question uh, what you're actually wanting. In fact, Hornby have two versions. They've got like a regular 9F. And then they've got the one with the, the weird um, flu arrangement. And if you want the weird flu arrangement one, they're the only show in town, but it is a good model, so you won't be disappointed. Um, if you're going for the new tooled Hornby versus Backman models, then I think in all honesty, um, the Hornby one probably edges it. But with a Backman one, you're going to be able to find a lot more second hand. So it it's then becomes a question on price as much as anything. I've got two of the Batman ones, um, thanks to generosity of some of you guys who just keep sending me stuff. I'm not complaining, but um, I'm really blown away by the generosity. And they're both great models. Um, Warbler, how on earth did you see that? Hey, it was. He, he's probably got us on eighty inches of plasma, and he's like focusing it. Probably got like screen uh, magnifier and just like checking everything. He spotted the one up by the flagpole. Yeah. So thank. You. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dan's a crusty nine F. That was the word I was looking for. John Walters says, "Evening all." <gasps> Evening all. That's a degree of lateness, I suspect. A Monday clubber is never late to the wagons, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Thanks, Gandalf. Um, Will Tucker asks, when can we expect the new Hellion Class 47s? Must be imminent now. I don't know, but we have had the Newton Chambers car transporters have just arrived. These turned up for review. You're seeing them going round at the moment. Um on the uh, uh, the all maroon uh, Mark 1 train behind the Dutch livery 33 Slim Jim and so uh, they will the be channel you should see. The, video, the video on them will be coming out this week um, but um, we've also got in for review actually Hellion have um, sent a veritable goodie bag so we've got the GWR chocolate and camp. cream express parcel rail car number 34 <laughs> Now this is the rail car, um, uh, the parcels version of their AEC rail car, and this particular one has been uh, uh, sent in for review. I'm just trying to, will you get that thing out of my way? 
I'm so sorry. we'll be having a video of this at some point um, in the next few weeks. But that does look quite lovely. Um, that's the first time I've actually looked at it, but I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, then also in for review, uh, that one actually, those have just been released, as have the Newton Chambers car transporters. Um, but they're also very kindly sent for review. Um, I know people were asking me about these, the Ruston 165DE. Um, and um, they very, very kindly sent uh, one of these for review. So we've got this sort of the, the bright yellow one. Uh, and uh, really looking forward to taking a look at that. In fact, I d must check what um, next 18. So good. I do have a decoder that will fit that. So really looking forward to um, um, having a look at those. So there will be some videos coming out. All railway days says hi everyone. Sorry I'm late this evening. A modern day club upper is never late to the wagons. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <coughs> Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. It does sound like he's had a bit of the old choo-choo flu. Yes. I, I love the way we've just created choo-choo flu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's make tracks as Scotty. Bouncing around reminds me of old Saturday morning TV. That's the idea. And uh, Hello, take, take care, I'm Ewan. Um, Hello. <laughs> uh, take care, Ewan. Uh, Luke Craig says, "Evening, Jenny and Zoe." Apologises this has been mentioned already. It was a little. Uh, I was a little late tonight. Any news on the O gauge Daypole J ninety four? We're a little late. A Monday club or is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor is he early. Uh, he arrives precisely when he means to. Thanks, Gandalf. <clears throat> um, no news whatsoever. Um, as we said before in the opening. Uh, we have had word that the Lionheart, um, Linton and Barnstable, uh, Manning Wardles are arriving in 016.5, which I think is ON30 for any of our American viewers. Um, so that will, those will be in shops. They promise to be an amazing model. First time ready to run 016.5 models have been made available for the UK market. So I can imagine an awful lot of O-gauge modellers might be getting a bit of narrow gauge on their model railway. Um, Iron Horse Railway says full name is Class 19 Choo Choo Virus. <laughs> <laughs> Those Class 19s get you all the time. Um, Peter Jackson says, how about the new Jenny Kirkwagon? When oh, is yes. that coming? Um, the new Jenny Kirk wagon will be being delivered along with the rest of the Rapido Wagons Railway Clearing House design 1907 uh, wagons. Um, I believe that to be uh, beginning of Q2 next year, but don't quote me on that. But basically, when you see all the ones that they've announced, um, all, all those pretty private owner liveries and railway company versions that are in the main <coughs> catalogue, then the Monday Club Wagon should be arriving with that. So it's not a huge length of time to wait, um, maybe eight months at most. Um, we did actually start the ball rolling back in Ali Pally. So when you saw me at Ali Pally, I was behind the scenes preparing the ground for the Monday Club Wagon. Um, and um, actually, I think, where was I that... Um, might have been Ali Pally where the designs were all sorted out. There was definitely a show where that design was shown to me and I talked with the people. I couldn't announce it because uh, we wanted to make sure that the length of time between um, it going up for pre-order and it arriving to be as short as possible. Um, so that's why we've left it quite a while. And... Uh, I'm really excited by it. Um, it's always great to have a new Monday Club wagon. We are currently looking at doing an O-gauge Monday Club wagon, and it'll be to a different design. The ultimate plan for this will be, we'll do um, a fairly simple black and white styled livery, not unlike the Ustragun Mice Collieries type wagon, um, which um, there is a, a prototype of. Um, but we're yet to decide how it'll be. We're going to do a short run in O-Gage. So O-Gage modellers, we're coming for your money. Um, but we'll have uh, a product there uh, for you guys. Anybody in N-Gage who's going, what about us? 
Uh, unfortunately, the minimum order for N-Gage is a lot. I mean a lot. So unless you're going to come to us and say, yes, I'll have a hundred, please. And so will all my friends. Um, at the moment, the economics of N-Gage um, aren't quite stacking up. Um, but um, that's where we're up to. We're also looking to do um, maybe one of the Daypol double O gauge wagons and try and do a um, a cheap commission for people that maybe feel a little bit priced out of the market um, and see how well that goes down. Um, I think there is a lower minimum order number on those and we might be able to pump out a Monday Club wagon um, possibly next year um, for uh, a lower price but it will be one of the older Daypole toolings so we're looking at a lot of range of things yeah let's make tracks as I would pre-order but my funds are dry after gets um, <coughs> they they um, I, I don't expect them to sell out the image if they are sold out I will be incredibly impressed if I if, if I if I went to rails and found that they'd sold out I'd probably then go to Rapido and see about increasing the number. But um, quite frankly... And they would say, no! Um, yeah, actually, there's a good point, Iron Horse Railways. You pay on um, uh, 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 when they arrive, not up front. Uh, so d don't worry about that. Um, you can order with confidence. Technically speaking, and I wouldn't condone this, but it is possible to do. You can order it now and then cancel it <laughs> when it arrives. Well, when 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 they they send you notification that it's it's coming. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. But you could do that. Don't do that, yeah, please. But, but don't do that. Because <laughs> um, we've had to pay for these. <laughs> um, uh, oh, my Francis goodness. Wadsworth says, "Okay, gotta go, guys. See you next Monday." Thank yeah, you so much, that. Robert. Yes. Uh, Wangok says, "Dapple wagons are fab." And thank you so much, Robert Steers, MD. Great to see you in. Um, very kindly donated $9.99 on the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Wangok says, sorry, I ordered three. Is that okay? Yes. Yes, very okay. Thank you so much. And yes, Robert Steers, great to see you. And I do, I have saved you a Monday Club wagon. I need to get that sent over to you. One of the um, the William Loud ones. Um, cause I, I, I do remember you did say um, that you wanted one. So I have put one aside for you, but they are now completely sold out and yes over the weekend the Warrington show was on but also the Burnley show there were a few people actually who did both um, I bumped into Richard Davies from Hattons um, who had been to the Warrington show in the morning and then called in at the Burnley show in the afternoon <coughs> that's actually <coughs> That which is a dedication yeah, it was pretty hardcore considering I believe he lives down in Cheshire so that's like 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 go up, up, and then... So he's basically done a big triangle. For those uh, of you who are saying, is it me or is the video feed lacking? Guess what Jicon has just shown up on our uh, little uh, status bar? Ah, oh, crap dose down date. Yes. So uh, let's... The Billy Gates replacement operating system has decided mm. to mess us around again. Morgan's Train says hello from New Zealand. Big hello to you. Hello. They're, they're late. I know, I'm waiting for Gandalf. Yeah, but Gandalf knows New Zealand quite well. The Monday Clubber is never late, Toto Wagons, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Also, how's Hobbiton? I haven't been there for a while. I must get back. Okay. Thanks, Gandalf. <laughs> uh, um, Stephen McClay asks, what about a JK transfer that can be put on rolling stock or locomotives? We've got to work something out. Yeah, that and pin badges. We, 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 pin badges are up there on things what we need to do. 57305 Northern Princesses, can you give a shout to March West Junction TMD? Big shout out to March West Junction TMD. And you have reminded me, actually, I am supposed to be name checking um, somebody, but um, I did ask them to send me a... <coughs> uh, just... Have you forgotten again? It was supposed to send me a reminder because I've forgotten. You've forgotten again. Forgotten. Who, 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 who is it? Um, it was a um, guy from uh, the LNY DCC exhibition in Burnley wanted me to give a shout out to his daughter. And um, you haven't reminded me, so I've got. I, I, I'll give a shout out to your daughter, but you need to send names. 
because I don't remember. Oh um, my goodness, what are you like? Um, I can't remember names very easily. That is it? true. She didn't or know who I was. Or, it, it's or amazing dates. that she remembers who I am in in the mornings, guys. Can I can I just say you? something that um I couldn't actually. This is how bad I am with names. <laughs> It took me several weeks to be able to just spontaneously remember your surname. Wow. Yeah. Um. I've never. I knew. I've never told you that. I I knew that you had problems because when I uh, put the costume on to do Gordon the Music Maestro for our intro, you admitted that uh, you no longer recognised me and thought I was a different person. I have facial blindness, which yeah. um, does make it very difficult to um, to uh, pick people out of a crowd. Yes. But, um, oh, uh, Iron Horse Railway says, speaking of Jenny wagons, I have two spare Jenny pal bricks, but I'm considering cutting one up to make the Mac match wagon variant. I'll still have the running number and JK logo on the ends, too. You know that, uh, can I just say, the match wagon, you are aware that they already make them. They already sell them. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, they do them in a pack of three. So you you just want the variants. Why that... don't you just ask Mike at uh, KR Models for a pack? Yeah. Yeah. If you ask really nicely... He you... might even say yes. Yeah, he might even, <laughs> <laughs> might even take your money and send them. Uh, James Pett says, incidentally, did anyone else spot Simon Kohler at Gets? Yes, yes. Simon Kohler... Was doing the rounds it gets. He never came to our stand. I can I can like I, an awful lot of people didn't know that may we may not have known that was there. Yeah, it wasn't exactly well signposted into the back room. No. Um, but yeah, Simon Kohler was there. Um, I, yeah, I, I, at the end of the day, he spent his entire working life um, in in the world of model trains since the seventies when he started in a model shop in uh, was it Peterborough. So, you know, he's not going to just, like, find out he's retired and never come back. Of course not. You know, yeah. after all that time, he might actually turn out to quite like model trains. So, um, oh, goodness, who would do that? Anyway, oh, oh, hold on, we've, got a, we've also got a spot on, on the... Peter Jackson Cheetah, he says, TARDIS hiding behind the wagons on the wall. Yes, it is. Um, <coughs> Where? Oh, Warbler yeah, Productions you. says, you manage to remember me every time you see me. I seem to have an unforgettable face. Um, it took me a while. Um, I, and it's like, oh, you're getting a, a secret glance into the inner workings of Jenny and how she copes. I am very good at pretending that um, uh, I, I, I know exactly who people Ooh. are. But whilst fishing for information. Nick at Bletchton High Levels. Northampton. Yeah, sorry, Northampton. Um, Robert Davies is, yeah, Northampton, North, Northampton. Um, there's a very strong chance that I may be cancelling my show tonight. You're all right. No, I need to pop off to the loo again. Okay, so, um, yeah, um, there's a, a little bit of uh, paperwork in order. Uh, Iron Horse Railway says, yeah, but they, but not with the running number and the JK stamp. Um, okay. When uh, I get back, we'll be doing the videos, and we'll see how I get on. No worries. Um, so, right. Uh, Ham Shackleton says, I'm the other way around. I remember the face, but can't put a name to it. Um, so I, I just can't. I can't remember. But I, I, when I did, um, and, right, can I just say, I don't think any of um, the rest of the cast actually knew this, but when I did Biggest Little Railway, um, I had to have... I had an A4 sheet with everybody's names on just so I knew who my team members were and who the uh, embedded PDs were. And I bet you didn't know that, that um, in, in each of the teams, two of the people in each team uh, actually were um, part of the production crew. Um, and they were kind of embedded so that, you know, they, they would appear on camera. But they were there to facilitate making sure everything was working just right. I had a sheet of A4 which told me everybody's names simply because otherwise I had no chance at remembering them. And the um, the camera woman, the, the, the PD, um, who was embedded with us, she was the only one who knew that I couldn't remember people's names. Um, so there you go. And there's a lot of people that uh, I met on that uh, film shoot that I did not get round to working out their names 
until the end of the shoot or even in some instances after the shoot had long since gone. So, um, yeah, really difficult for me. Uh, Aidy Pullen says, Night all, you take care. It's uh, been great to have your company. Don't forget, tickle that like button and we'll catch you next time. JD1533 Workshop says, Hello all. Hello. Um, James Pet says, I'm terrible at remembering people too. But do you have facial blindness? I, I call it that. It does have a proper Latin name, but I can never remember it. Um, um, Leslie Gilpin Railways. <coughs> oh, it says, oh yeah, um, this is a reply to Carl Iron Horse Railway says, I love how you greet us on your videos. Hi, welcome to Carlisle. And Leslie Gilpin Railway says, thanks Craig, a catchphrase without intentionally doing it. But they're the best catchphrases. That's how the best catchphrases start. Um, Chris's Garden says, hey Jenny and Zoe. I went to Getz, had a great time. I didn't get a chance to see you and have a chat, but really enjoy your channel. It inspired me to get back into the hobby again. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Yeah, they put us in the... We were in the back room. Um, we were embedded with KR Models, who very kindly uh, paid for us to be there. Basically, they paid for our hotel room, had us helping out on their stand. Um, and we got a little bit of space, and we were giving out the JK signs, thanks to the generosity of West Hill Wagon Works. Um, but um, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people never found that back room. I know that War World Scenics were next to us as well, and they did say that they struggled with throughput. So we didn't see Simon Kohler, and I think a lot of people went, oh, were you again? So I didn't see you, um, which is really unfortunate. Hopefully next time we'll get a better location. Uh, but um, it was st we still gave away all the layout signs. I think we had 250 of them. And um, it was just an incredibly busy, um, uh, bu busy event. Iron Horse Railway says facial blindness in Latin. I believe it's a Boetius Raquelis Mysterium. Um, I I don't know. Uh, no, it's, it's got it's got like a medical term. Um, Wamgok says I'm off now. Need to go and phone me mum. See you next week. Have a great week. Bye. You take care. Um, and thanks for coming. It's been great to have you company. Um, right. Uh, Leslie Gilpin Railway says, I'll tattoo it to my forehead then. This is the, the, the unmistakable catchphrase. I, I, mm -hmm, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, uh, Let's Make Track says, I only found the stand as I bumped into you at the TMC stand. Yeah, I, I, I picked up a few people around the TMC stand and led them through. Um, Lids Crafts and Doctor Who says, I meant to go upstairs when we met second time round. Um, uh, Fly My Chairman 1 says, Emily! Jenny. Jennifer E. Oh, what? Sorry, what have I missed? Robert Steers MD says, I'm looking forward to seeing Richard in Amherst, Massachusetts in January. You should come also to the biggest model railway show in North America. Um, which Richard? Is that, that's not Richard Watson, is it? I don't know. I would love to get to America. Unfortunately, um, as, as a lot of you guys know, we did make this announcement. Um, was it last week or the week before? I now do this full time. Um, so um, basically everything I do, I have to justify financially because I just can't afford um, a, a lot. Um, the notion that YouTubers make huge amounts of money is like, <laughs> not this one. Um, so I do I do well, don't worry, um, but just it's not lavishly well. Um, so unfortunately, um, I am unlikely to be able to get to the US for a little while, uh, which is a shame. I would love to go, uh, but um, uh, yeah, I would love to get over there. Right on track, so sorry I'm late. I hope I haven't missed much. <laughs> no, just me wittering on. Um, still a little bit spaced out and very, very fatigued from getting over the choo-choo flu. <laughs> Mark Tower says, can you say night to Emily for me, Jenny? Good night, Emily. It was great to see you at the show and uh, you take care now. And uh, don't stay up reading books under the duvet with a torch. You know, I used to do that. I thought I got away with it, but apparently my parents just like... <laughs> Oh, the batteries will run out eventually. But yeah, no, um, Mark Towns, great to see you there. I didn't actually know your surname. Um, 
I've known you for years, and I, well, nobody's ever said like, "It's Mark." It, his surname's Towers. Um, yeah. Um, there we are. Uh, Adams Railway face blindness, prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia. Yeah, that's the word. I can never remember that word, but everybody knows what you mean uh, when you say facial blindness. One five six Andrew says, Jenny, are you loaded with the cold? No, and um, this is kind of the aftermath of the choo choo flu. So I sound like I'm loaded with the cold, but I'm just full of snot. Uh, not so salty sea dog says, we just le we left just after I popped around to say hi. Saw the monkey of cupboards marching back with two boxes and a satisfied expression on her face. Absolutely. Leslie Gilpin Railway says, next time I get to Chicago, I must make time to go to the BNSF racetrack. And see some serious freight. Oh, that would be lovely. Um, James says, Jenny, should I start a YouTube channel featuring model railways and real life trains? Why not? Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to just, hold on, I'm just reaching across. I need the mouse because the monkey of cupboardness has hidden the mouse from me. So if we have an issue when I change the angle of the dangle, there we are, I can press the button and make it magically appear. Tim Krinsky asks, Jenny, have you looked at the Aegis system yet? This is the new DCC concept system. I haven't really looked at it in depth. Uh, Iron Horse Railways has, but I have not. They've only got one test unit in the UK that I'm aware of. So uh, no chance at the moment to have a good play on it uh, here at Weir Yard, but hopefully will at some point. Um, uh, so, oh, um, ba, 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 ba. Mark Tower says, thank you, everyone, and Jenny, take care. I did get there in the end. I thought you were going to message me on, on, on um, Facebook Messenger or something, which is why I was looking. And is, I, 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 I didn't I say that I would probably forget. I am useless. Um, but, yeah, look, take care. Take care, Emily. That was a bit creepy. I, I met Emily. We're very small. Um, so, um, um Warbler Production says, takes me ages to learn who people are, but with me it's from having autism and also severe social anxiety. Well, see, I, I'm, I do wonder whether my, was it proper, whatever it was, facial blindness, whether that may be connected to autism, because a little bit autistic. Um, and, a little uh, bit about it. Uh, yeah, so he says, not a little bit. Um, so I do wonder what they might actually be connected. Um, just a thought there. I should read up on it. The way you uh, think and process things through, there's no... Uh, there's no, uh, no maybe. There's, there's no maybe about it. You have uh, one of those minds. Um, High-functioning autistic. And it's, uh, that's not a bad thing. Mm. And actually, you're a marvel to watch it work. Oh, my word. Um, David J says, Evening, Jenny. Evening to you. Degree of lateness implied. I don't know what horrible bug you are suffering. We got the choo-choo flu from uh, uh, Getz. Uh, but uh, I have the very same. Four weeks now. Oh, don't say that. Oh, we'll goodness. both be on the podium if there's a coughing for England competition. Get well soon. Actually, the cough's not too bad. This I've had worse coughs. Not than too this. bad. I can hear you downstairs. When you go for to bed early because you've got work, and I stay up for a bit so I don't disturb you, I'm watching something, and I hear you. Mm -hmm. That's how bad the coughing is. Um, yeah, but I'm not coughing all the time. Uh, not and it's not, not as bad as it was. I did have one bout where I coughed so hard I made myself throw up. That was not good. Um, Retro Ramble says, Someone's accused me of being autist autistic, but I can't draw. Artistic. Uh, oh, art. It's, ah, right, okay. Uh, James says, Jenny, could you do a video going deep into our yard, like how it's operated? Um... Which, which yard? What? Well, um, there'd be a freight. Yeah, yeah. Fra uh, oh, uh, yeah. I think they've been um, they've been blindsided by autocorrect. Weir yard. Um, yeah. I suppose. I mean, I mean it's weir yard is built to be able to shunt trains, um, do some switching, uh, but I never do. Um, so it was kind of built by the version of Jenny that had come from the world of um, completely analog stuff. So all of the points were originally analog operated and there's like, it's the, the most <laughs> cobbled together electrical system underneath there. And it's been adapted to work on DCC. 
If I have a fault, it takes me weeks to trace it because it's like a rat's nest of cables. So hopefully things will just keep working and then I don't have to delve into underneath. Um, but essentially, um, I just turn it on and hope it works. Um, David Watts says, um, Jenny is joke blind too. Yeah, she doesn't see yes, them. Yes, um, and that is part of the autism. Uh, I yeah. take everything literally. Um, and sometimes, you know, I, I sometimes I can detect a joke. Um, uh, most of the time I can't. But um, I will take things very literally, and I, I completely miss on joke cues. But um, you do get certain things. You like smart humour. Well, like Frasier and that. Yeah. Frasier, Blackadder, things like that. Mm. Mm. Uh, Charlie Chimp says, I have autism too, and the part I enjoy is having my special interests, or should I say, obsessions. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It's like, at the moment, um, and I think part of learning to deal, well, for me, um, dealing with autism, I, I, I don't like to call learning to deal with it, because it wasn't like I was consciously going, now, now I need to, to deal with my autism, and this is how I shall do it. It just, what, what actually happened is that um, I found as I get older, I can focus my obsessions onto useful things. So at the moment, um, getting every single one of the 34 um, A4s that survived to BR operation in BR liveries is a little mini obsession that's going on, but um, which is different to your collection of minis. No, yeah. Um, I I don't know. Um, as I've got older, I found I can control it better. Um, but I do sometimes. You know, when you find yourself, you think you're watching a fi a, a film, and you suddenly become obsessed, like. What did that actor used to do? And before you know it, you've gone into a research loop and you find yourself needing to know everything that is to know about the Sphinx. And it's really <laughs> quite weird, um, but it just kind of happens. And you, um, Tim Krinsky says, are you missing Kingfisher? M might I thought you had Kingfisher. No, it's the one that got away. Ah. Um, Hornby did do Kingfisher in the Rare Bird set. Um, and because uh, I only go for the DCC Ready ones, either the Backman DCC Ready or the Hornby Super Detail ones DCC Ready. And Kingfisher has been done in BR Experimental Blue as part of, uh, they're called the um, RJ Freeman Rare Bird Set. It does keep coming up at, um, well, it's come up twice now at Ellis Clark Trains, and I've missed it both times. I uh, missed that Gronk I was trying to get you. Oh, that came and went just like, like that. Yeah, the same as what happened when I was trying to uh, check out Steel Battalion on Xbox. Mm. Hello. You, uh, this thing you've asked, asked for an alert on has come back into stock. Mm. So, it mi literally minutes after this email has arrived, it's gone. Yes, because as it turned out, you weren't the only <laughs> one who had that alert set up. Yes. So, here's our first one for tonight. We are going to look through a few, but uh, we'll see how we get on. There's a, there's a fair amount, so we will be uh, going over into next week. Iron Horse Railways, wash your mouth out with soap. Says, how on earth is getting all the A4s an important task? It just is okay. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, this, I think I counted up there. Of the A4s that have been made that, that fit the category which I go for, the ones that I'm missing, um, I don't know, I, can't, I, I feel feel bad actually saying because people then buy them and so send don't them. Say. So um, the, the, there's probably about three that Hornby have done which I don't have. So, yeah, um, just don't say. I should know more than that, but about six. But... Um, <laughs> I don't really want to say because it's no N never feel forced. I I'll, really, I massively appreciate I people's know. generosity. I, uh, 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 let, let, let me, me just finish one thing. Sim with you as with everyone else. Never feel forced. Mm. And, and it's like um, I, I'm not being um, like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ungrateful. That um, I, I am aware that. Um, People then send me stuff, and, and I think I am really grateful, but I do feel embarrassed. So yeah. I, I, I so don't want to feel like I'm fishing okay, for stuff. Let, let's do it this way then. If you want to list the ones that uh, 
you, you don't have because someone's asked, that's fine. But we'd like to say this is not Jen asking for them. She's not hinting. Mm. She's not suggesting anything. This is just an answer to a question. Do not feel obliged. Do not feel compelled. Never feel compelled. Hmm. Um, With that said, if you want to share the uh, the names because someone's asked, go for it. Uh, Ham Shackleton says, I suspect I'm mildly autistic too. One of the signs is that I can't abide crowds. That is quite common, actually, I must admit. Um, I'm, I'm getting better with crowds. You know, I'm now 45, so um, I've had quite a few years of practice. But yeah, certainly when I was a kid, I hated crowds, really did. Um, um, it's got better with age, and I don't know whether that's because... I've learned to deal with it better or because the, um, the 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 issues that made me hate crowds have abated. I suspect I've just got better at being able to deal with them. I'm also taller than I was as a child, so crowds aren't quite so bad when you can see over the top. Um, I still have problems with crowds, but I think it's mainly because as a kid I was always shunned. Mm. So I never got used to it. Uh, 57305 Northern Princess says, didn't Hornby model the A4 kill during the war? Yes, they did. Um, however, I've managed to channel my obsession into just BR liveried A4s. Um, otherwise, yeah, it'd be very easy to... I think they've done every single one, all 35, in various liveries in super detail form. But it's the BR liveries that I go for. Um, and... There's quite a few that they've never done. So, for example, Silver Fox has never been released in super detail form. I think partly because they did do a set with Silver Fox, but with the old tooling with the tender drive motor, just before they retired that tooling and moved over to the much better model, which has kind of survived to this day. Um... So another one that I've never seen uh, done is um, Sir Ralph Wedgwood in BR livery. I've not seen that one turn up in the super detail uh, form. And uh, there's also, I think Siegel hasn't turned up in super detail BR form either. Someone at home be sitting there with a list, aren't they? <laughs> um, well, if they are, then they keep ignoring Silver King as well, because I keep sending them um, that and pushing for it. I actually ended up, I got a re-liveried one where somebody had professionally re-liveried a model to Silver King. It, yeah. And it's like, I'm having that. Um, you were so <coughs> happy when you found that. Mm. Sarah Davis says, not being good in crowds is an autistic thing. I put that down to panic attacks with me. I think I, I don't know whether it, it officially is an autistic. You've thing, got to realise that it seems to be common. It, it, it's it can possibly be an indicator. It doesn't necessarily. Mm. No, let's put it this way: things can uh, happen in more than one way. So mm. it could be an indicator, or it could just be that you have uh, um, oh, something else. Mm. And it, it's, it's possible. But oh. hey. Oh, 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 oh. Um, John JMC, our guru of sound, says, speaking of Gronks, I'm after a first great Western John Gronk. Ooh. Your mum's turned up. Christine Kett, that's my mum, says, hi, love, you are not 45, you're only 45. Did you forget how old you are? Have yes. you got to that age? I, I also stopped bothering counting my age. <laughs> so that's quite reassuring. Yay! I de-aged a year today. You're younger than you thought. Yeah. Hey, go. Mum, does that mean you were here when we were talking about Dad and, and the way he used to buy shoes a size too small? <laughs> so, on that note, we have a few... <coughs> Are you OK? Yes. Oh, no, there we are. I love that, because it looks like... It's, it's like... It's a, look, yay! Yeah, yay. don't break him. I'm not breaking him! <laughs> so... We have a few things tonight. We won't be able to get through the entire batch of what people have sent in, but I'm going to start with Iron Horse Railways, who says... Oh, oh, oh so I need to P. Mozza, oh, you want one now? Says, with the A4s, do you have any other ones that were named for photos only? Well, the thing is, they tend to be in LNER day, days. Um, Will Tucker says, Hello, Jenny's mum. <laughs> Hello, mum. <laughs> um... Mum Kirk is in, says Richard Swiderski. Um, so yeah, everybody, meet my mum. 
Um, a warbler production says, dealing with children who are severely autistic, crowds and changes in routines are big causes of meltdowns. And there's counting, and there's counting random things until an arbitrary number is reached. Yes, I must turn this light on and off 14 times or my family will die. No, that's OCD. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah but OCD and autism do tend to, like, go to... I do have um, OCD. Now, you may... This is something as well, and it irritates me when people think it's funny to taunt me on this. Um, I hate plug sockets that are turned on, but nothing is plugged into them, and I have to turn them off. It makes going down the aisle in B&Q, where they have all the fascias... B&Q, for those overseas, is a, a DIY store. And they have the, the face panels for um, plug sockets that you can buy and fit in your house. And they come in packets. They're clear, obviously not wired to anything. But if that switch is turned on I, and I see it, I have to turn it off. And getting to the hotel room in the Hilton was quite hard. Because we were on the like huge long corridor. I mean, like, let me neck. We walked for miles to get to our hotel room. But there's all the plug sockets along it. And I had to stop at every one and turn them off. Um, so that's that's one of my things. So, uh, we're starting tonight with uh, Iron Horse Railways, who mm. says, Hello, Joey and Jen. Not sent anything in for a while. Here's the HSA wagons that I've been weathering this evening. These are representative. He's not me. Scottish. <laughs> now, now, like, come on now. There are Scottish sorry, people Sorry, in, there I are... had Scotty talking. Well, sorry. Can I just say, there are real Scottish people in the chat. Yeah. And, and you're probably irritating them okay, somewhat. Okay, fair enough. So, don't worry, guys, I've got your back now. These right? are representative of examples that might not be found. That Sorry, that might be found on a Heritage Railways awaiting restoration line. Zoom in <laughs> to get the full effect. Oh, that so is... So, if you were to press a button... That is crusty. That is... That, that is, is super very crusty, and super yeah, yeah. Um, do, 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 with powders. Uh, Jennifer Horton says, actually, it's very sensible to switch amazing. off sockets, especially if young children are around. I'd be honest, it's nothing to do with that. I mean, I I'd, I'd like to say that I'm that benevolent, but actually, as soon as my brain oh. comprehends there's a socket switched on with nothing plugged into it, it, it's like there is an awareness, and it's almost like a little radar, and it goes, beep, beep, and it, it, it hurts oh, until I turn it off. Oh, my word. You weren't kidding when you said that was on the re the restoration cute cute. <coughs> Christine Kirk says, hello all, and yes, I did hear about the shoes, quite right. Thankfully, he doesn't do it anymore. He's lucky he didn't get bunions. Yes, you managed to train him in the end. <laughs> this is phenomenal work. That is good. I love the crustiness. Really nice and crusty. Uh, and wow. Iron Horse Railway says it's a lot of layering, so I'm guessing... Yeah, I bet it is. It's a layer of powders, fixing it. Um, cleaning back on the data panels a little bit, and then another layer and, and such like. Um, ben Tullett has just been not. watching the new Network Rail safety video on level crossing safety. Pretty good as it shows the viewpoints of the mum, son and train driver of a real life near miss incident. My word, Thank yeah. you so much for sending that in, uh, Greg. There was a thing nice. actually, that, um, apparently, and it's like we come back to Instagram. And um, Network Rail have been sharing uh, pictures from CCTV cameras at level crossings. People still like posing for photographs on the tracks because they think it looks really cool. It's like, like, come on now, come on now. Don't play on the railway tracks. Um, Monday Club, not a vid, just a message. This is from William Van Allen. It says, hi, Jen and Covered Monkey. Just a quick message to say, I'm glad Jen liked the the PO wagons, and indeed there was no Novichok included, lol. Thanks for all your hard work and hope you're all better now. Oh, thank you so, so much. There you are. It's William oh. who was uh, sending in those wagons. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank I, you. I'm, I'm glad that we've, we found out because um, I, I, I am incredibly grateful. They are, are super beautiful wagons and I, I was blown away by your generosity. And just um, sorry I wasn't at the stand when you, you came by. You, you did give him a, a JK sign, did you? I believe I did. Good, good. I tried to give him a book, if I remember correctly. I can't oh. remember if he accepted or not. But if he did, cool. And if he didn't, fair enough. Thank you so much. So, thank you so much for that. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, As you can see, she's really appreciated them. Peachy TT120 says, My dad is Judge Dredd, and so is my mum. <laughs> so, um, next up we have from James Spinks, a layout that he's building. Mmm. 
Iron Horse Railways. I, I feel that I need to put a special um, special voice on for this. Filth. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's referring to the, the crusty ones. So, what, whoa, what scale are these? I'm... Uh, oh, that, hold on, that's a screw... Is that a screwdriver? You scroll up. No, that's an airbrush. No, forget about that. The screwdriver. There! God. Oh. You can't tell a scale of a model from a screwdriver. I know, but it helps. So, um... I'd say that was N. Could well be, actually. But, yeah, those are... Those, are these 3D printed? Uh, yeah, they look good. It's nice. Oh, I this. do. There uh, we are. Actually, it might be... I don't know. Is that... Look at the, the size. But is that N gauge or 009? I do it either way. That is really nice. And those have come together. It's a lovely little signal cabin as well. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Oh, a lot look. of interesting weathering on the fence. Look at the dude on the end. Little doodlinger. Yeah. Hello, I'm a dude. Ooh, nice. I think that's that's O O nine, isn't it? Could be. Or is it? And, and oh, oh, this is. Um, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? <laughs> but I like that. That's really nice. To, I love the weathering on the roof as well. Ah, a child for scale. So we come scrolling in, and I think it's O O nine. I'll be honest with yeah, you, uh, uh, but I could be wrong. But that is given the width. Of we the haven't track. seen any trains. That they're, they're the usual giveaway. I'm going to say 009, but that is nice. Mm. Oh, Tardis, Tardis! I'm just looking through the comments. Yes, I spotted it first. Everyone's saying it's 009. That mm. is a really nice layout. Uh, oh, Wyvern Model Railway says hi, everyone. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I'm late. <sighs> You're right. Ooh. No. Uh, no, I'm not. A uh, uh, sudden, uh, I'm spinning travel sickness. Bit of deli belly. John JMC, the guru of sound, says the signal box. Um, it's a Metcalf kit. Um, Leslie Gilpin Railway says, is it O N thirty? Um, it's O O and O O nine. Says James. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, there and not so brilliant. Um, yeah, 009 people are saying. Okay, so. I'm cancelling my show. I'm sorry. Are you sure? Okay. I, I don't feel good enough. <coughs> <coughs> so, look, thank you so much for sharing those with us. I'm going to press press the button. Uh, let's go with that one. Which one did you press? Uh, one. So, if you check, it's working. Yeah. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to pull myself together. Um, it yeah. is getting warm up here, I must admit. Uh, Torridon Road by Peter Dixon. Big hello. Lloyd Burgess says evening. There's a few people arriving late. Do we have, do we have Gandalf related goodness on? Monday Clover is never late, Toto Wackens, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. But luckily, for when Gandalf gets stuck headfirst in the biscuit barrel, he has literally phoned in his performance. Um. So um. So excellent. Um. Yeah, a lot of people saying do take care, sorry. Ben Tullet says the Scaledale Cricket Pavilion does make a great narrow gauge station building. Actually, you're absolutely right, it does. Um, and yeah, Will Tucker asks, is, this, is the station building a repurposed cricket pavilion? Would appear it may well be. Um, and that's something that you do often see. Some of these light railways, especially the Colonel Stevens light railways, and the kind of... Um, they, they broke a lot of the norms and conventions. Norm! Oh. <laughs> So, and yes, and Topsy Toaster is um, twizz twiddling his browning knob in appreciation. Um, yeah, a lot of people saying for you to take care. Thank you. So, we've got a running session next from Martin Spinks. If you want to bring this up. This looks Beep. nice. So, we've got a, a large lo logo, full yellow N37. Nice, neat ballasting and... Uh, I like your stone walls as well. That that looks really nice. And uh, this is a, a Scottish themed layout. And I'm not saying that just because I spotted the Scotty dog, but um, the um, I think they're Mark Twos in the green of cre and cream and cream of the West Highland line. Look at the the length of it and how you get the scale. It's nice. It's nice. Curve. Mm. It's nice. Um, Leslie Gilpin Railway says I use the Metcalf Models Cricket Pavilions as holiday chalets. Yeah, there we are. And that's the Class 101 um, um, trailer car that was repurposed as a, an observation car. 
on the West Highland line. Um, and yes, Simon Trent's Mother Road Showcase confirmed Scottish Class 37 with uh, West Highland Mark II, says Peter Jackson Cheadle Heath. This is really nice as well. <coughs> mm, with the, uh, the stone walls and that mm. slightly. Uh, Slightly yeah, I mean, like... there's some dramatic countryside yeah. here. I, I do like that. Dramatic countryside really do Look at that Oh height. my goodness, the depth! But now look at the height as well. The height is really, really great. The model. Um, if you can have bridges with like deep gorges, they really do yeah. add something special to a model railway. Pretty much what we've got here. So nice 25 there. The, uh, the rat is uh, on... On the, are they Mark Twos or Mark Threes? It's I'll hard tell to tell, you. but it's a lovely viaduct. Um, oh, look this at that! This is so nice. This is a lovely viaduct scene. Yeah. Hmm. And it appears to be a handmade viaduct. So we've got. Um, I'm guessing that might be um, if you've got a card or a plywood core, and then um, coated in DAS clay. And then hand scribed uh, stone courses and then carefully painted. You get a really nice effect. Oh, this is a lovely layout. That really is nice. This is the sort of layout that would be just amazing to sit back with a gin and tonic and watch the trains yeah. go by. I just love it. It's a, mm. it's a nice country scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just nice. You, it's a type of place where you think, yes, this is nice. Absolutely. If you, this went, is, if you yeah. visited it. Um, really, really nice. Um, thank you so much for these. Oh, that bridge is interesting. I think that's the Daypole kit. Um, <laughs> it's quite an old kit. It's an old kit, but it still checks out. Um, there's some really good kits, actually. And you can see that they can be used in a variety of really interesting yeah. locations. There's that 37 on the Mark IIs as well. It's a really nice colour scheme now. Um, a little Scotty dog. Yeah, Did someone says Scotty. Yeah, I'm yeah. Scotty. Okay, get back in your box. Um, and uh, um, oh, what was I going to say? Something about they were available through Batman. A number of different limited edition sets. Plus, there was also a two for set with, with the 101 trailer car that was in the main range. Ben oh. Tullet, yes, absolutely lovely scenery on this lane. That that was that was lovely. Thank you for sending those in. Uh, Simon Train to Mother Railway showcases feels like somewhere in the highlands. Yeah. Uh, Harry Sedgwick says the uh, the L N E R A four number four four six nine was originally named Gadwall in August nineteen thirty eight, then renamed as Sir Ralph Wedgwood in March nineteen thirty nine. They destroyed by an air bomb in April nineteen forty two, along with a B twelve as well. Uh, withdrawn and scrapped in June 1942, although its um, uh, tender did survive. Um, and then, of course, a different locomotive was then subsequently renamed as Sir Ralph Wedgwood. So, um, 6006, um, I believe, was Sir Ralph Wedgwood, ultimately. I've got a question for you, Jen. Mm -hmm. How is Topsy Toaster's second name spelt? What? Is it toaster? Toaster, or is it Towcester? Now there's a question for you. <laughs> Topsy says, "You decide." So <laughs> is he going to be spelt spelt as toaster, as in the place? <laughs> and for anybody outside of the UK, in fact, a lot of people in the UK as well have been wondering. Um, Towcester or Towcester is toaster. Um, I think actually, Why? I don't know. It's because basically Anglo-Saxons were going, this shit's going to get real. This what, my dear? Watch thy tongue. Yeah, I know, but it's not in the first 15 seconds, so we're all right. My goodness. Uh -huh. So next up we have uh, from Richard Swiderski. Uh -huh. uh, Swiderski, even sorry, I mispronounced your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi Jenny, Zoe and Toaster. Hope you're all well and good. Have oh, a good uh, weekend. Uh, just a correction. Ro uh, Roger Wollstenholme corrects me. It was a B16, not a B12. Ah. And David Scott says Toaster, North Ants, UK. Yeah. yeah. So, what he sent in is a video of the show of 46100 Royal Scott at Hartford Station. Cool. Have a look. Let's have a look at the Okay, that's... Uh, let's... Let's roll VT. Press the button, please. 
Yes, we did turn the sound off. <laughs> Topsy should have won the Great Electric Toaster Show. <laughs> yes. Um, Topsy would did have proved. come with us to the Great Electric uh, Train Show and proved very, very popular. Everybody it was more loves... popular than I was. Everybody loves the host with the toast. Yes. Although, oh, um, for, for, re <laughs> for reasons apparently of health and safety, not sure whether it was health or safety, um, we weren't allowed to use Topsy. We weren't allowed because we didn't have a food license, which I think is just them saying, no, you didn't give us any toast. Yeah. Beep, Pro beep. We probably took one look at it and went, I went, I'm sorry, that's not on our inflexible list. There's probably people, organisers from Gets, went, what? Who told you that? Um, but uh, Someone told me it, hmm. and they looked like they were part of the team. So, you know. Yes, Roger Wollstonehome, Sirencester. Uh, there's this, there's, there's, um, I think they're Roman place names. Toaster. Sirencester, definitely. Sirencester, is. Bister, there's another one. Um... Peachy TT120 says, does anyone know if the Tillig Elite is worth the mother? The, the mother, the money. So I've got mother on the main. Like, mother, I'm telling them. Um, Tillig Elite track is definitely worth the money. Just be aware that it is quite fragile. You get a lot of flexibility in terms of additional um, points, uh, crossings and such like. Also multi-gauge, um, including point work as well. Um, so there's some real interesting stuff going on, uh, but you pay your money, you takes your choice. Um, I've never used it in a model, it must be said, <laughs> although I am planning some kind of uh, industrial layout using the insect track that they sell, ostensibly for trams, but you can use it for a, um industrial uh, line as well. Lids Crafts and Doctor Who says, sorry, got to leave early. Have a great rest of our evening. You take care. It's been great having you company. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, do please tickle that like button, share the stream to social media, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Jennifer Horton says, towns that end in Cester or uh, Chester are Roman. Yes. Uh, David Scott says, toaster on Roman Road called Watling Street. Yeah, the uh, modern A5. Yes, the back um, of Watling Street mm, is actually Dong quite Modern uh, famous. Is the, the suffix uh, Cester could be spelt Caster, Kester, Chester, etc. It's Latin for fort and just means the Romans had a fort there. Ah, so Toaster is the fort at Toe, or probably the fort on the River Toe or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Simon Trust Mother Row with is, is Gate Viking or Saxon? No, oh. that's um, for political uh, discussions. <laughs> Gate is the suffix that comes with uh, political controversies. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. So it took me a while. Yes, you get there. Yeah, but everything, like, what what were political controversies called before Watergate? Uh, affairs. Ah, the Perfumo Profumo affair, yes. things like that. So if that had happened today, it would be Profumo Gate. <laughs> yes. So, if there was some kind of political issue involving a gate, would it be gate gate? Double gate. <laughs> the gatey gate. <gasps> so, oh, 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 I've got one. If there was some kind of scandal involving coal, would it be coal gate? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, dear. Sarah Davis says, falling asleep, so going to say goodnight all. Well, take, take care. care. Thanks for coming along. Um, and also Richard Knoll says, uh, Darby is also a Viking-descended name. So next up we have from uh, Warbler Productions, uh, Evening Ladies and Topsy. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm V. I'm Scotty. Yeah, will, will you stop trying to... Okay, we've, we've already got our lovable sidekick. We don't need another one. He likes to crash it. I have another real railway video to share this week, says mm -hmm. Warbler, featuring XLMS Jubilee number 45596 Bahamas as it passed through Atherstone on Saturday morning <coughs> at, at the head of the West Coast Railway Company's Mancunian tour from London Euston to Manchester Piccadilly. I was very fortunate in the fact that mere moments before Bahamas was due to pass through, a network rail track machine passed through on the line closest to me and almost bowled me. Fortunately, as it's seen in the video, 
It had left the platform area just as Bahamas came streaming through. Oh, it's almost like they knew they were there, you were there and cleaned up for you. At a speed line of 60 miles an hour. Ooh. Severe curves at either end of the station make it dangerous for anything to go faster on all four lines. So here we go. It should be very interesting. And I will press the buttons because Jenny is distracted. Ding. Da -da ding. Ooh, is it me? It was getting warmer. Beep, beep. There goes the track cleaner. Oh, yeah, that is close, actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there must have been that brief moment where there was a sinking feeling, because you'd be able to hear that coming. Yeah. And then the track machine trundles through. I am surprised, because it's not stopping, that it's actually in the platform line and not in one of the avoiding lines yeah. down the middle. You know, just saying. <laughs> good night, Martin Parkinson. Um, and <laughs> Caroline Rogers says good night all. Thanks Work in the along, morning, guys. see you next week. Will take you take care. care, thanks for coming along. <laughs> Ironheart says, saw this video earlier this week. I was more excited to see the track cleaner. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever's, whatever floats your boat, or yeah. should I say pulls your train. Yeah. Um, oh. Hanning's Rest Model Railway does say that I need to brush <laughs> up on my puns. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Thank you I'm so sorry. much for sending that uh, in. You're not, you're not telling it. Well, I already pressed the button. I have. Yeah. Will you? Like, I always have to fiddle. So you're gonna have to check that because you've probably broken it. Yeah. See, look at that. Look at that. You broke it. You broke it with your pressing random buttons. I am sorry, but I didn't see that you had. David Shaw says, though, was that a stone blower? It could have been actually. Right. Uh, Simon Train's Mother Road showcases. Saw a video of Bahamas passing through Tamworth. Some great speed on the loco. So we've got a final thing because we've only got a couple of minutes left. Mouse Hall Rail says, Hi Jenny and Zoe. On Saturday, the 21st of October, I went to Bristol. Uh -huh. Saw an 08 with some ex l &E Mark IV coaches. We took some photos. Ooh. So thank you very much for this, Mouse Hall. Okay, so we're pressing the magic button. Press the magic button. Stop it. To see a Gronk. And also some other trains. Oh, but that mainly looks like, that looks like a, a Gronk. Uh, that looks like a Pendolino or something. Mm. Not a Pendolino, what's the A Voyager or something. Oh, I don't know. They all look the same to me. Gong, gong, I preferred gong, the gong, um, gong, LNER gong, gong, livery. Gong, 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 oh, gong, no, gong, I'm getting mixed up with GNER. We do miss GNER. <coughs> there we are. Nicer look at it. Nice. CP Model Railway says steam rail tours on the main line only use the avoiding express lines if there is a suitable path between modern express services. Ah, okay. I mean, it's I like the Gronks are a locomotive that just keep on giving in terms of liveries. Will you stop it? Like, just behave yourself. You're not on your own show now. Won't be on my show tonight either. Uh, Railway Rob says, when I when I see you talking to large amounts of events, sharing your knowledge, I think what a great job you do. Ali Pali explaining the water effects. Being oh, thank you, Aww. thank you. Um, I do try and do my best. I, I, um, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm the massive font of all knowledge. I'm the massive something, but... Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for sending that in, Mouse Hall. That was really nice. Thank you. And yes, Richard Knowles says it was the Class 220 stroke 221 Voyager. Oh, right. Guys, we've got two minutes left. Really? Two oh. minutes, minutes to ten. Oh, no, to nine o'clock. I'm going to change the, um, what are you, so just, uh, are you seeing how many we've got left? We've got two left. A non-model video today, part of my research for a layout, double-headed salsa at 2515. But you haven't sent the link, unfortunately, Peter. Uh, so, so Peter, can't... should you please do, um, resend the link? Yeah. You forgot to put the link in your email. Uh, and James Spinks is just wondering... Would you and Jenny like, uh, oh, um, is it invite to a model railway group in Burton upon Trent? Um, definitely send us some more details. It all yeah. depends on time, um, yeah. in all honesty. It, it, it's what we can do on our calendar. Jen does now work full time. Uh, Doing this, as a, actually. A YouTuber. But, but what, what we gotta... knew we had some more. Dion Wollaston and Gordon Hanning. Oh. For some reason, your stuff didn't get linked into the Monday Club. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. Um. So. 
I'm going to see what we 3B Rail. Big hello to you. Great to see you. Hope I find you well. Hold on. Um, Gandalf is um, head first in the biscuit barrel. Um, the, the brim of his pointy hat does tend to get caught under the rim, and he doesn't like taking it off. So, um, right. basically, um, he has... Provided us a Monday with this. cover is never late, Toto Wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Yes. So, Dion and Gordon, you will be first in line next week. You are first in the list. For, for the show, because we should have shown you tonight. I don't know why your stuff was not in the Monday Club folder, mm. but uh, we'll, we'll get to you next week. Uh, Carlton Tweedle says, great show as normal, get well soon, see you next week, take care all. Um, P Paul Bryan says, I was at Getz on Saturday, found the KR model stand, but I missed you, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, well, your aim's getting better. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> um, right, Jan, mm -hmm. I have one thing to say. Does it involve wibbling? No, it Does is. It... Do we have any more news? Not that I can think of. So if I've missed case, anything, I'm really sorry. We are still feeling very drained. To be honest, I'm going to go straight to bed after this. Yeah. Uh, Possibly with a battle box. <laughs> now we are getting into watch it. If you've ever watched Robot Wars, you need to find for yourself battle bots, which is an American thing. But some of the teams actually from the good old days of Robot Wars still around and yeah. doing very well in battle bots. But it's like it makes. It makes Robot Wars seem like the Pee Wee Leagues. It really it, this is. This is the heavyweight uh, competition. Mm. Uh, so, so, guys, here's the thing. Uh, if you go to ITVX, it's a website, it's also an app. You can <coughs> watch this now because mm. it's free. If you're in the UK, it's, uh, it's free. If it's you're not in the UK, right, you, you can't use it. But <clears throat> Nord Vivian. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So guys. Oh yeah, David Watts, sorry, there is a bit of news. David Watts reminds us in the news that the Pico TT120 wagons are out. So actually we need to get ourselves We need to have a look at that because mm. we haven't done it. We haven't do it anywhere near enough TT120. So guys, mm. thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you have had a great night. I've got to go on uh, now, do a quick uh, bit where I go on the stream and explain why I'm not doing the stream on my show. Okay. But uh, then we'll see how we go. So, guys, so do you want so me much. to punt people across at some no, point, or shall it's, I? It's not worth it. Shall we enjoy some trains running for a little bit, if you want? But, guys, thank you so much for joining me and joining me, joining Jen tonight. It's because I'm talking about my show. Th thank you so much for joining us uh, mm -hmm. tonight. Have a great evening. Absolutely. And oh, Tony now. Northeastern, big hello to you, but you're incredibly late, so you get a gander. A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wackens. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Mm. The train now departing is the 2103 service to bed, stopping at Grove Street Yard, Bolton Trinity Road, Minneth Tatis, Tatis Newith, Eindhoven, Butts Farting, Pittsburgh, somehow, the unnamed layout, and then on to bed. That's the 2103 service to bed. Time for bed, Zebedee. And Topsy Toaster, he says. If you go up to the loft today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go up to the loft today, you'll never believe your eyes. For every train there ever was, has gathered there together because today's the day that Jenny does the month. Day club. Good night. I love the way you think you can hold a tune, but Blake. I don't can't. think I can hold a tune, just... but I sing anyway. Sing as if no one is listening. Yes. <laughs> right. Anyway, look, it's been great having your your, your company. We're going to enjoy some trains running for a little bit. I know you guys do like it, so uh, we shall do that. And until next time. Take great care of yourself. Same Happy bat modeling. time, same bat channel. Mm -hmm. Good night. It's Monday clubs for everyone. Do -do 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 I thought you were going to go into the rude version. Why would I do the rude version? I, I don't, I don't know. know a rude version. I'm a nice person. Do you want to...
Dodger Wolstenholme would like uh, us to have a special additional station. Oh. Pratt's Bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pratt's Bottom actually really does exist. I think it's in Kent. Okay. <laughs> Is Pratt's Bottom near to Buck Spartan? Um, you would think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> Jenny, that's incredibly loud. That is incredibly loud. Yes, it is.
Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
So we're going to be rounding down again and uh, unfortunately because the cupboard monkey is not feeling great there will not be a Game Hammer classic live streaming stream tonight but uh, it's been great having your company and as always do look out for our Wednesday video which uh, will <laughs> it'll either be the Newton Chambers car transporters or it will be our uh, uh, Great Electric Train Show video that's been delayed from last week. Sadly, uh, the uh, choo-choo flu has laid us low, but uh, we will be uh, back up to speed hopefully this week. We've got lots of great reviews coming over the next few weeks, and uh, these will include the War World Scenics uh, ready-made tree range. These are really quite something special, and they also feature some very resilient travel cases, which um, should hopefully allow them to be sent through the post, so you don't have to wait until you catch War World Scenics at a show. We've also, thanks to the uh, uh, helpful generosity of Hellion, uh, they've sent over the PWM, the AEC uh, Railcar Parcels variant, and of course those Newton Chambers car transporters, for us to be able to continue on with the reviews. We also have coming up a full review of the production G5 from Backman and TMC. And that will be coming up next week. Really looking forward to that. We did have an exclusive on the pre-production models. So this will be a follow-up to that with the actual production model. And we're also going to be having the pickups video, belatedly, from the Great Electric Train Show. Where you get to see what kind of goodies Jenny does pick up when let her off the leash and uh, goes for a rummage. Building on the success of the Can We Fix It video, we'll also be delving into a Hornby 00 Class 4 MT. We're going all retro, seeing if we can fix a classic 1960s model. And to anybody else who's had the choo-choo flu after a show, you have our deepest sympathies. It's... Uh, Pretty grim, is it not? But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of an extended Choo Choo Trains running session. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying you take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. And don't forget to tickle that like button if you haven't already done so. Please consider sharing the stream to social media to help the channel grow. <coughs> and if you haven't already done so, do please consider subscribing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's like dust in the back of my throat.
You can also head on over and check out the full merchandise store as well. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Coates, at